Hey everyone, you tuned in to this video because you wanted to know some of the facts about Staten Island, New York that some people just might not know about. Well, stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is George S. Wanaka. I'm a local realtor right here in Staten Island, New York, and I work with Wanaka Realtors and Appraisers. This video today is going to talk to you about some of the little known facts that a lot of people might not know about Staten Island, New York. So if you have any questions on this video, do me a favor, drop a comment down below or send me an email to my email that's listed below as well. And we happen to do a lot more of these videos. So if there's something you want to know about Staten Island, New York, whether you want to know about a specific area or you want to know about a specific town or what it's like to live in that area, do me a favor, drop me a comment. I'll, and we'll work on sending out a video very, very shortly. But now, let's get into it. So one of the first things about Staten Island, New York that not a lot of people know about, it's actually home to some of the city's oldest buildings. One of our oldest sections in Staten Island is right in the middle of Staten Island, known as Richmond Town. Richmond Town has over 30 restored buildings dating back to the 17th century. And it has ha houses, farms, schools. There's the Alice Austin house also on the North Shore in Tompkinsville. That's also worth a visit. That one was built back in the 1960s, however. So if you're in the area and you definitely want to do something with the kids, it's wonderful things to do right there in those individualized areas and checking out those old homes. They're really quite exquisite. Another thing at Staten Island is, is not a lot of people realize this because it did happen a long time ago, but we once had the world's largest landfill. Yes, you get it. And that was a lot of jokes for a lot of years with a lot of people. But now, because we're also known as something else, that's what the landfill is actually going into, which happens to be a park. Now, part of the, this park of transforming a landfill into the park, the first part of it was supposed to be done back in 2019 and been open. But unfortunately, you know, things happen and it hasn't been get done yet. But the whole park is set to be all operational in about 2036. But as we all know, the things that go around government, sometimes they take a little bit longer time. thing that also Staten Island, you might not know, except for the people here that do, we are known as the Borough of Parks. That's right. We have over 170 parks, if not more. We're adding new parks all over the place. And that's actually given, given us the moniker, we are the Borough of Parks. We have so much open space and so much density that a lot of things go on within those parks. We've even started attracting deer because they're like, yo, Staten Island's a pretty cool place. I want to come and hang out here too. So Staten Island is known for that. We've got over 12,000 acres of protected parkland. No other borough in the city of New York can claim that. Now, because of those parklands, Staten Island is also the least populated in New York City, even though we're the third largest. Most of those four other boroughs have more than 1 million residents apiece, when Staten Island claimed back then around four to 500,000 people. So we are one of the most densely populated boroughs in all of New York City. Not only is Staten Island one of the most densest populated places in the, in the city, but we're also the wealthiest borough. Now, our median income has increased over time, but we're even, we're even more wealthier than Manhattan is right now. Manhattan comes in just behind us. And then it narrowly follows out with Queens and Brooklyn and the Bronx coming right after that. A lot of people don't realize about Staten Island, New York. When you think about this next place that I'm going to tell you about, people are like, That's, that doesn't make any sense because we're not in the Himalayas. We're in Staten Island, New York. And why do I say Himalayas? Because we have a, a Tibetan Museum of Art. So people are like, that's not the Himalayas, it's Staten Island. But it is located on Lighthouse Hill, and it has a permanent collection of scroll paintings and artifacts and instruments and other artworks from that region. And you can see it right here on Staten Island, which you probably never would have known about if you didn't see this video. Another thing that Staten Island, people might not know about Staten Island, we actually said we want to get out of the city of New York. We don't want to be part of that city anymore. And part of that reason is due to the fact that we've always been looked at as the forgotten borough. Our electeds have had to fight and tooth and nail to get anything at Staten Island. Our taxes continuously go 
to other places and not here in Staten Island. So what happened was they put out a vote and said, we want to secede, we want to govern ourselves, we want to use our own tax base dollars. Now that got defeated, but it only got defeated because once Mayor Giuliani came into office, he started paying a lot closer attention to Staten Island and we started getting our fair share, so to speak. Although recently, one of our local electeds has started up the secession movement once again, and we'll have to see where it comes from, but hopefully, I'm optimistic. And one of the last known facts about Staten Island that not a lot of people know about if you didn't live here, turkeys. We used to have an exorbitant amount of turkeys living down in the Dungan Hills and South Beach areas of Staten Island, New York. And quite frankly, it sounds really strange, but they used to terrorize those neighborhoods. They used to be jumping on cars and stopping traffic and making a mess of people's yards. And we finally called the federal, federal governments in, and a lot of those birds were removed to a place up in, in the Catskills, an animal sanctuary. But, and I do say but, there's still some of them still left. We didn't get them all, because some of them are still roaming around. But now, they've started migrating into the North Shore and other sections of Staten Island. So, don't be alarmed if you happen to be driving on Staten Island and you see a turkey. Gobble, gobble thank you for watching this video about some Staten Island facts that not a lot of people might know about. If you have any questions, do me a favor, drop a comment below, give me a heads up. If you like this video, do me a favor, give me a like as well. But if you have any questions or would like to see me do a video, like I said earlier, drop it in a comment later on down below. We get requests to do videos. We're in the process of shooting area videos as well for specific neighborhoods. So if you want to see your specific neighborhood, drop it in the comments down below. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so anytime I do a new video, you're going to get notified right away. So with that being said, and nothing else to talk about today, we'll see you next time.